What are you giggling about? I know. Streaming and creaming and dreaming. Uh, hi, hi, hi. Hello. I don't think anybody's here yet, but that's okay. Uh, I'm Matt. This is Super Apartment Friends. And I'm playing Alien Isolation tonight. It's looking pretty spooky. Uh, so that'll be good. We'll have a good spooky time. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just get right into it. Yeah, it's just me for now. Just me, Matt. Let's just dive in. Let's just continue our game. Look at this beautiful sepia tone I have. I don't know how this happened. Uh, it was an accident, but I kind of like it. So, yeah, I hope everybody's having a groovy night. I might turn off some of these lights so it gets a little, a little more spooktastic in here. Let's see what we can do. Hang on. I'm still here. Don't freak out. I have the Discord thing on, too, if, if you are a Discordsman. We'll see. Is that going to be too spooky? It's going to be a little spooky. Jess? It's a spooky game, so I'm going to make it a little spooky by turning off some lights. Yeah. Gotta be. Oh, shit. The game's on. Okay, hang on. I'm so, There's so many lights on. There's like 100 lights on. We're going to spook it up a little. Oh, is that too spooky? Okay. It's kind of all or nothing here. Okay. Let's see. Let us see. Eh, kind of spooky. It's kind of spooky for me. It looks it looks kind of regular for you guys, but it's uh, it is darker for me. Okay. Let's resume the game. Actually, what am I doing? Get to Siegson Communications. I'm still doing that. Axel said the Systex Spire houses Siegson Communications. Lots of S's. Let's get Matt's lisp going. <laughs> Find a way to get in there. All right. Gets real cash at the end of the seat. Oop, bleep. All right. I'm sitting in my cool gaming chair. What do you think of that? <laughs> I'm a cool guy. No, I'm not. That's okay. How do how do how does baby zoom in? L2 and R2. Baby needs to zoom in. Okay. So I need to go backwards. Into that corner. Okay. Or presumably. It looks like I need to go that way, but I remember from last time it wasn't quite that way. Or that was like a dead end, kind of. There wasn't anything for me to interact with there. But I'm going to check it out anyway, just to kind of re-familiarize myself. Door locked. Okay. There we go. I got, yeah, shit, I got to re-familiarize everything. Swing. Do you... You touch it once and she, she swangs it twice. She's pretty gangster that way. Okay. Yeah, I'm Mr. Mappy Magoo over here. Okay. Alright, so yeah, if we go to the corner of this room... Yeah... That's where my beeper is, but, okay. Yeah, it's not here. I think last time I was kind of futzing around on another floor. I think that is the issue. Yeah, doesn't that look tantalizing? That's something. Locked door. Hack the elevator. Okay, so yeah, that's what? The upper level? And I'm on the lower level. So. Need to take that upper, baby. How do I get up there? <laughs> uh, it doesn't point out. So, Alright, whatever. We're gonna explore. We're going to explore. Um, I know nobody's on here yet. But, I gotta say... Happy birthday, happy 65th birthday to Shigeru Miyamoto. That is fucking awesome. I love that guy. His birthday always creeps up on me. Um, maybe I'll remember this time. 
or from now on, maybe I'll remember. I almost, uh, I came this close to switching gear, because I found that out after. I said, oh, you know, more alien isolation tonight. Uh, I found out it was his birthday, and, uh, still a lower level. Um, yeah, I almost, I almost did a last minute switch over to Mario Maker for tonight because that would have been kind of cool but I want to stick with this I'm kind of I it's been a, a long time since I sat down and stuck with like a longer game oh yeah we gotta do this again okay yeah this is cool this is super cool I like that mini game I love I do I'm okay with mini games I'm okay with a lot of quick time events not all of them got to last time and got fucking wrecked. Yeah, we're not even we ain't even playing with that shit. No sir. Not this boy. This ain't my face. <laughs> this ain't my face. This ain't my first alien rodeo. Restroom. This will be good for me. I need to poop my pants because there's a fucking alien up here. Um. Yeah, so I need to get up yet another floor, I think, right? Unless I can... That's the lower level. That's the upper level. So maybe it's here. Maybe it's, maybe it's that point right there that I need to get to and hack the elevator. I won't know until I find out, world. Let's find out. This big thing in the middle reminds me of the big telescope thing that the space jockey is hooked up to at the beginning of Alien 1. And I bet that's intentional. That is really neat. There's a spooky tube I can go in. The music is getting very intense. I'm cool. I'm so cool right now, you guys. Totally chill about everything. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Fuck yeah. Alright. Oh. Oh god. Okay. Beautiful. Let's get the shit out of here. Yeah! Look at this! Look at this! Did something already! It's a good night! It's a good, good night! Uh, maybe the spirit of Miyamoto is with me tonight. Thanks, buddy. Ah, oh, I wish I was playing Mario Odyssey, because that looks wunderbar. But I don't has a... has? This is water. FYI. That's water. I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. <sighs> but yeah, I don't have a Switch. Because money. Um, but yeah, it's all good. I'll get, I'll get it someday. Shit, I haven't finished Breath of the Wild yet. Because I have that on Wii U. So, yeah. So, yeah. All visitors must report to reception. Okay. Comms control will handle external communications. Find it and send a message to the Torrens. <laughs> We're almost done with the game. Everything's going to be fine. Easy, breezy. Oh look, here's a surely friendly and okay person. Oh, it's an android. Hello? My name's Ripley. Amanda Ripley. I need your help. Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. No wonder okay. Seatson is losing the tech race. There's no seats. Look, based on the events of Alien, I'm not super into trusting an android. And considering the, the hints loading screen is like, hey, just so you know, EMPs disable androids. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, the rewire. I'm afraid I don't know what to do with these. Air purification. Oh, door access. Oh, actually, camera feed sounds... Well, maybe we do want that. 
Oh, I see. We gotta shut off something, though, to get the door access going. Hello, whoever's here. Thanks for popping in. I don't know who you are yet. You're terribly mysterious. Wow, I have to shut off a lot of shit to turn on the door access. And I'm not terribly certain what that even does. What's up? What's up, Ricky? Oh, hello, sir. Can you hear me okay? I have the Discord thing open, but I don't know if it's picking me up. Because it's crazy. Discord ain't working. Okay. You know, and actually, I don't know... I don't know what's up. I tried to load it earlier, and it gave me an error message. So that truly is not me, like, bullshitting. Oh, I wonder if, uh... It's getting a little foggy in here. I'm going to turn the air purification back on. That was maybe an insane thing to turn off. For door access? Who gives a shit? <laughs> I need air <laughs> more than I need doors. You fuck! You disabled it! Ricky, I'm blaming you! I tried. Blah, blah, blah. It says I'm connected. I don't know. Don't know. Not taunting anybody ever. Except when I taunt you right now. Ooh, I'm a Ricky and I'm a little wiener baby. What is this, a lacrosse helmet? Keep that under glass? Random computer? <laughs> I don't know what this means! NTAE? <laughs> I will fight you in real life. Ricky, you're, you are you are fighting everybody. Because you gotta fight Jess before you even fight me. Which, like, you know, fine, I guess. Are these gonna... <laughs> not taunting anyone ever? <laughs> yep, that's me. I do, have a, I do have a goldfish brain. That is fucking true, my man. You have... I would say you have no idea, but you have some idea. What is goal right now? Speaking of never remembering anything. Okay. I just need to find... Oh, comms control. I'm looking for comms control. I'll just stumble around these terrifying hallways for a while. Um... So, remember last time there was a, there was a xenomorph in that lobby? Um, and he... I, I, I fucked around too long and he kicked my ass. Well, this time, I went in knowing he was there... And just kind of, like, kept my distance. And so, uh, pretty easily got to the elevator and hacked it. So I'm in a new area now. And I wished uh, Shigeru Miyamoto a happy 65th birthday. Yeah, that alien <laughs> fucked me up real bad last time. Can I help you? Jesus. I need to get into comms control. It's urgent. That is a restricted area. It's an emergency. Don't you realize what's going on? Apollo has the situation in hand. That was an accidental jump scare. Forget it. I'll find my own way in. Alright. Yeah, this guy's not helpful in the least. And he's creepy as balls. Oh yeah, today is today is the anime Godzilla thing, isn't it? I mean, it's not for us. We don't see it until... I wouldn't advise it. We don't see it until next year or whatever. But, I mean, it's cool that it came out. That being said, Treezilla is so cute. Yeah, he shoots. <laughs> he shoots nose lasers like he's first. He's he's been muscle grandpa from the get go. Adorable muscle grandpa, and now he shoots little boop nose lasers. Like, I I hope he's a good guy. Like, cause they made him fucking adorable. But we'll see. I don't know. I'm keep. I'm not super like jazzed about it but i'm keeping an open mind i'm definitely interested yeah like a yeah like a psychotic tree-based rudolph the red-nosed reindeer i mean is that maybe is that the point is that kind of i like ironic that he's villainous or or he's like he's such a nature being it seems kind of like a it, it has kind of a Miyazaki-ish vibe to it. It makes me think of, uh... 
Uh, it makes me think of Princess Mononoke. Speaker system lighting. Yeah, yeah, Japan's been big into nature themes shit since like the 60s. They were, they were doing it first. So wait, what is... Is R1 like hints mode? Why is everything flashing? Or is it, oh, it's just because I'm close to stuff. I'm trying to figure out what my flashlight button is. I cannot remember. That's crouch. That's run. What the fuck is wrong with me? I know R1 is a button on the controller, smartass. Ooh, motion tracker. That Some seems kind of tracker. insanely helpful. It's been modified. Get ricked! Oh, it, it buzzes and stuff. I love, I love controller speakers. That is oh, R1 to use this. Oh boy, now, oh, this is some alien shit now. Oh my god. Is there a problem? This motherfucker. No, no problem. Yeah, you're the problem. You scared the shit out of me twice now. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Oh man, I really can't remember how to turn on my flashlight. Not that button. Options. <laughs> Seriously, this guy scares the piss out of me every time. I mean, which is the point. It's it's kind of genius, but uh, I still resent it. Okay, triangles flashlight. I thought I hit that, but I guess not. Speaking of Wendigo, I uh, off stream. I guess my oh, it, I'm out of juice. Okay. Um, I have so many bonding agents. I can't do shit with them. Speaking of Wendigos, I I beat Until Dawn off stream, and it was great. And I'm excited to uh, play it some more to get the different endings and stuff. In other news, two other things came out today. I bet you can only guess one of them. Uh, yeah, the Rampage trailer, which is uh, which is cool. It's not what I expected. Um, I was thinking it would be a little goofier, but I'm okay that it's not. Um, because they, I, I like the angle they're taking with The Rock and George. They have, like, a nice relationship, and I was not expecting that at all. Like, that seems, like, pretty heartfelt for what, you know, is, like, a, a goofy disaster movie, but I'll take it. Liz looks cool, um, though I, I miss them being anthropomorphic. Yeah, it's not going to be, it, it's, you know, it's it's the crew that did San Andreas, um, so it's not going to be, like, it's not going to be a super character-driven, like, awesome-ass movie. Maybe, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm just pre, I'm literally prejudging it right now. Um, but yeah, just, just based on what we've seen and, and who's working on it, I'm not expecting, like, the best story ever, but, like kind of stop like i don't know they, they're taking this serious angle with it and uh i'm like good with it like i would have i would have preferred i would have I, I think rampage that's the property to make rampage kind of like power rangers that's the property to make the really campy over the top just fucking bonkers movie um and they're not doing that but you know it's good it's good man Revolver, med kit. So yeah, I can I can make a flashbang. I haven't built anything yet. And that's what the bonding agents are for. Can I craft commit component? Okay. This is interesting. Oh yeah, okay. And so now I can make it. Okay, fucking cool. I gotta make a med kit. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's it's the San Andreas dude, so who knows what that's going to be like. Um, I didn't see San Andreas. Because um, I just didn't care. Um, it didn't look like terrible. Dang, dude. Oh, I love making shit. Good. Yeah, did you see it, Riccio? Did you see San Andreas? Watch in horror as Matt builds things. That's okay. It's kind of redonkulous that I wasn't doing this earlier. I'm just gonna make one of each. 
I run out of shit. It was another rock movie. <laughs> that is all. Hey, man. I... These, these later Fast and Furious movies, I've been digging. Because they know what they are. That's the thing. God, if Rampage had... If, if Rampage had the... The heartfelt silliness of... Of later... Um, of later Fast and Furious, that would be amazing. I, but I'm not getting that vibe. Uh, yeah, I can't. I I don't know that I can guess the second thing. Fill me in, man. Cool, I can collect scrap again. Good. Oh, and I can get more bonding agents and sensors and shit. Good. I felt weirdly incomplete that I couldn't pick those things up. Give me the stuff. I love stuff. Oh my god. Sky I spent so much of Skyrim just like picking flowers. Sorian has a new patch. The soundtrack released. And now there are giant Gila monsters in the game. That's amazing. Now Sorian is the one that I always mix up with the Isle. Because I'm a real piece of shit. <laughs> but in, in my head I'm like, I know that's, that's one of two Rikio games. It's the accurate one. Okay, and the aisle is the real outrageous one. That's cool. That's cool. I, oh, oh shit, I don't... Nope, I don't... Look at that fucking pipe bomb! That is wild! Okay. How do I, uh... You're making me nervous here with this shit. How do I put away... <laughs> oh, I got my... Okay, that'll, that'll do. Okay, she just loves having that out, I guess. I'll have to make sure to not throw it. So what is... That looks like a personal terminal and a rewire system. And that, I think, is what I just looked at. Is reception where I came from? I get, <laughs> I get lost so easily but yeah who knew a 50s b horror movie would do some yeah yeah well, hang on a second because when you... when you say oh this fucking asshole please terrify me some more um when you say giant gila monster i'm thinking of the the hot rod movie well the movie where they kill him with a hot rod i gotta get my bearings the controller is, is pinging, and I don't know why. Okay, I see. That's my... My motion detector is always active, even when it's not out. It's like the size of a Komodo dragon, not an actual dinosaur. What's that real funky name? I want to hear it. I love some crazy Latin dinosaur names. I think maybe this is where I came from. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going to the right here. Paleo Seniwa. That's not as weird as I thought it would be, because Paleo is in like Paleolithic. Seniwa is where it loses me. I don't I don't know nothing about that. Actually, I'll have you know it's a lizard, not a member of the Dinosauria clan. Read a book, you scrub. Yeah, that's like how. Uh, oh, I'll say it. I'll say it how I normally think it, and it'll it'll hurt your soul. Pterodactyls. Those aren't dinosaurs either. They're like one of my favorite dinosaurs, but they're not even a dinosaur. Same with uh, Dimetrodon. I love those fuckers. Also, not actually dinosaurs. All right, door locked. That is where I came from. So... Dimetrodon was like a mammal. Yeah, that... I just found that out, like, a year-ish ago, and that blew my mind. It had whiskers and jowls, probably. That's amazing. That's that's so cool to me. That is, that is one... Like, I, again, I know it's not actually a dinosaur, but that is 
one of my favorite dinosaurs, easy breezy. And so yeah, and then finding out it's it's a super weird fucking proto mammal made it even cooler. Okay. Everything kind of looks the same. Eh, I mean it's you know it's a big prehistoric. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I never thought about it that way. That's like how uh, every time an astronomer, you know, wants to put the moves on somebody, they're like, "Hey, hey, baby, you're made of star stuff," and they're tr and they're accurate. It's true, but it, how terribly romantic! And so, like, fuck yeah, you tell me I'm a descendant of a dinosaur? Oh, be still my heart. Spiny boy's my grandpa. Yeah, dude, that big sail is so gangster. That is the dopest shit ever. And he's got a big grumpy face. He's he got stumpy little legs and a big grumpy face. And that bitch and sail, he's real cool. I love that thing. That's that is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, synapsids. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, that works. Riccio, try that out. You'll be getting the sex. Like, nerd sex. Which, like, I'll vouch. Pretty solid. <laughs> Finally! Yeah, dude, that's what everybody wants. Deep down. You think hooking up with Fred or Daphne would be fun? No, dude. You hook up with Velma. You don't know what she's got under that big sweater. Oh, yeah, yeah, I noticed that. My total views is pretty good. But, I mean, that's over the course of... it's. I've been doing this for over a year now. Um, I wanted to do some kind of year-end special. Because uh, it, it was, like... It was the middle of October of last year when we started. And I, I ended up not doing it. Because Spooktober kind of took precedence. And, uh... Yeah. Alright, I think I need to rewire the door. You said that already, Riccio. What other floors are there? Okay. Hmm. Cutting point. I don't have a cutter yet. I fi I figured it was a glitch. I was just fucking with you. I will blame Skynet. A bunch of bitches. Okay. So if I switch the door controls, see everything's still locked though. That doesn't really do me any good. That says comms control access, so I'm gonna I must have missed something over there. I'm just gonna go back over there. I'm gonna turn the air back on though. <laughs> Cause Jesus. I want air. Okay. Yeah, flashbang, revolver, med kit. Got that thing. Oh, I see. And then if I do that, that'll switch me to the gun. Okay. Okay. I'm still learning this game. Because I'm a dork. I'm going to run. Fuck it. This isn't Friday the 13th. There's no penalty for running. Jason's not going to find me if my ass runs around. Bunk, bump into this guy. Fuck you, robot man. You're kind of a weird douche. Alright. Okay. So this is... Yeah, this is comms access. So yeah, there's gotta be something here. Something about this jam box, maybe? Oh! So we turn on the jam box. <laughs> the the hamster the hamster's waking up. I'm gonna turn on the jam box. Anyways, the six on thank you. Please understand this is our best shot. Someone's okay. Override door mechanism. Okay. 
Yep. <laughs> Derp. Okay. I had some other stupid thing planned out, because I know this thing here has a speaker system. So I thought, okay, I'll turn on the jam box, then turn on the speaker system, and then that'll confuse the robots into doing something. And that's not it. I just needed to read some more and unlock a door for myself. <laughs> Instead of being a dildo all day, every day. All right, which door did that open? Ooh, a locker. Lockers are just for hiding. I like that it points that out, though. Yeah, I had some crazy thing where I was going to advance through the power of music. <laughs> Maybe not the right game. That's too much That's too much D, D brain and not enough video game brain. A, a good gamer would do pretty much everything I don't do and nothing I do do. Emphasis on the cheap poop joke. Didn't that... Reception. Reception's where I came from. What did opening that door do? Oh, it... <laughs> I should probably explore everything before I'm like, what's happening? Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we got a door. I'm Tom Cruise. It, oh, ew, why did the door open by itself? Gross. <laughs> oh, yeah, save it up. Oh, Tommy C. You know, I like Tom Cruise as an actor, but as a person, he seems like a fucking nutcase. Which, not exactly a hot take. That's a pretty, pretty frosty take at this point. <laughs> pretty old hat. Tommy Tom just barged into my room to promote his product. What a dick. Classic Tommy C bullshit. Did he... Ooh, here's a... <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's a joke from 2004. Did he jump up and down on your couch? <laughs> Nobody's sick of that joke, right? I'm not going in there yet. Fuck that. <laughs> I can hide in this in this beverage cart. Amazing. I feel like the game is pointedly being like, here are places you can hide, Matthew. Game, are you trying to tell me something? This makes me want a first person Ghostbusters game bad. You have too heard it before, Riccio. Jesus Christ. Yes, you have. He went on Oprah and he jumped up and down on her couch because he's a, a mentally disturbed person. So people laughed at him forever. Ha ha. It's funny to have emotional problems. What an idiot. He's part of a cult because of his emotional problems. Marker on the edge of your motion tracker screen points to your objective. <laughs> Thank you, game. It's almost like you know me. You never saw that? Oh, wow. Okay, well, Riccio, there you go. I spoiled it for you. Unfamiliar with meme culture. I think, dude, I think the Tom Cruise shit technically predates meme culture. It's like a proto-meme. Noisemaker. Oh, that'll be handy. That'll be super handy. Scrap. Cool, I'm gonna fucking build one right now, if I can. Oh yeah. <laughs> Press pause to pause the game and never pick it up again. Press the power button on your PlayStation to be free from video games forever. Oh yeah, get some funky tunes bumping. Bumping! Hot food. Dude! We got pizza, we got Mega Burger! Fuck yeah, dude, look at that thing! French fries, ham baguette for your French astronauts, chick nuggets, not dude nuggets, hot dog, horse burger! <laughs> That's amazing, because it's the future, fuck it! Horse, okay. Cultural taboos aside, 
horse, from what I've heard, tastes like beef, but is way better for you. Maybe we should eat horses. That's my evil thought of the day. Veggie wrap and fried chicken. That's a pretty good lineup. Honestly, these guys are doing okay food-wise. And that's a big deal for me. Because I love food. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, dude, how many orgies have happened in here? Look at that, you close the door. Got this long couch. Everybody's just getting fuck nasty. Good shit. 70s space, baby. A little sexier than regular space. Tobacco, case in point. You got a tobacco machine, nondescript machine, water machine. I love the de- I, I, I know I'm getting a little lost in the weeds here. I love the details in this game, though. Use lever. L2. Damn. Shit like that makes me wish this was a Wii game. How cute would that have been if I, if I did that with my arm? I liked the Wii. Everybody hates on motion controls. I thought that shit was fun. When it worked. If it didn't work, it sucked. The residue soaks into the couches, so they quickly stopped. Yeah. Seriously. That's why you'll notice the, the player character, there was no option to sit down, because that shit was crunchy as hell. I turned on a conveyor belt? From here? Oh yeah, give me that shit. Charge pack, baby! That's why you know gamer. Yeah, I'm okay with not being a gamer, honestly. Even though I'm someone, even though I've been playing video games for as long as I could hold a controller, I'm I'm okay with not living up to uh, that title. And that's not even that I real as that came out of my mouth, I realized that sounded kind of bitchy, and I didn't mean it in a bitchy way. I'm just I'm good with it, man. I'm just a, a fucking guy who likes games. Y'all gotta cut this shit out. Look how creepy this asshole is. Hi, I've got glowing eyes. I need You're to like... contact my ship. Yeah, let me contact my ship. There's Ooh, gotta be another way thing. inside. Okay, find another way inside because this guy's a dick. Just pat him. Give him a little paterino. I can't, he's on the other side of glass. Also, hi to other viewers. Hi, welcome, thanks for stopping in. Feel free to yak with us, or don't. No pressure. I just wanted to say hi to you, because I'm a fucking weirdo. Alright, here we go. Look at this. Oh, this is a different one! It's like a golf mini game. Damn. Oh no, oh no! Fuck! Boop. No! Matthew? Okay, we got this. Bang! This last one's tough. Bah! Get- No! This is our swamp! This is everyone's swamp! Okay? We all get to be Shrek in this equation. Or Dougie! <laughs> or Fiona, or whoever you want. I know Shrek characters. What about it? What are you gonna do? There's a Shrek convention that Jess and I might go to someday, because no one knows if it's ironic or not. Which is kind of beautiful to me. Flashlight batteries? Don't mind if I do. Uh oh. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her figure and her thumb and the shape of it out on her forehead. Well, you start coming. <laughs> I can't believe there's still viewers here. You guys are the real MVP. Holy shit. It's me, Hughes. Don't you recognize me? What? Who is talking to me? I'm in a fucking vent. Ugh. Listen to me. We've got to re-establish long-range communications. You're becoming hysterical. Get back! I'm warning you! Uh-oh. That's not gonna go well for anybody. Ooh, yeah. Oh, no! Uh-uh. I've seen Alien. I've seen Aliens. I've seen Star Trek The Next Generation. You don't fuck with an android. 
Oh no! <laughs> oh no, dude! Oh, these guys are bad. These guys are real bad news. Okay. <laughs> Note to self. Don't piss off the androids. It's exactly like Wally. Remember that scene in Wally when he found one of those fat people and just slammed their head into a wall until they died? People thought up was dark. Oh, that's a fucking motion detector. Oh, crap, 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 crap. What's the range on that thing? Okay. Oh my god. Avoid detection. Loot the body? Yeah, now we're talking. The director's cut of Wally always seems so unnecessarily dark. Yeah, fucking brutal, man. Way more headshots and and full penetration than I ever expected. Oh yeah, I should use thing. Yeah, he's like right over there. This is. Oh yeah, booze. Oh, it's con just considered ethanol. Alright, this is not my smartest moment, but, you know. Sensitive corporate information then it's automatically detected. Error. Invalid argument. Apollo's eye. Man, these, they come up with such artistic uh, titles for their emails. <laughs> oh no, what did I say? Oh shit. I'm constantly saying dumb things, so <laughs> I never know. Ooh, that's a corrupted folder. That's, uh, somebody downloaded a virus. Ah, penetration. Oh, yeah, the director's cut of Wally is dark. Oh, cool, I like that it put me back into ducking down automatically when I pulled away from the computer. Okay. Okay. I'm curious. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought he was over here. Oh, shit. Yeah, he is. Get down. Yep. Oh, God. He's right there. Okay. It's all good. We're fine. Everything is totally cool. Okay. So yeah, as as far as like the the non xenomorph bad guy ranking goes, I definitely dig the uh, the androids more than just the random bandits. Like I like that I'm I like that I'm dealing with an android more than those random douche nozzles earlier. Man, there's stuff up there though. Ugh, this is not... Okay. We gotta check something else out. Comms control... Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a locked door. Man, it's right up there. Maybe I... I'm gonna go for it. Maybe. Oh yeah, he's right there. He's he's not paying attention. He's uh he's playing Galaga or something. It's fine. Turned off a security camera. Uh let's just leave. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh my god. That dude is right there. We're gonna grab this shit. Okay. Okay. So I turned off a security camera. That's that oh! And that's what, I thought that thing was like a high-tech motion detector. I think that might have just been a camera. So, we got this all figured out, guys. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Stupid androids. Just because you're mentally and physically superior to humans in every way. Don't mean shit. Alright. Come on. Oh, Slow-ass elevator. Dude, I'm succeeding like crazy so far, especially compared to that last that last session. 
Give up and die. You said it. Got this nice smell elevator. Dude, how sick is this? A big uh, elevator big enough to have chairs. Cup of Joes. Central Communications Hub seeks an employees only. Okay. I'm on high alert. Oh yeah. Is the Terminator an android? Cuz little hand. Oh yeah. Uh You know, I would I would count the Terminators as something else. Because an androids are specifically built to hang and work with humans, whereas Terminators are built just to blend in just enough to get the job done. So I would argue that maybe Terminators are a little dumber. Or, you know, Linda Hamilton's fucking gangster. <laughs> so maybe it's just that. There's a little connective tissue between... Terminator in the Alien franchise, right? I get them mixed up. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of like secret connections. I know between, I know Alien, Blade Runner, and Soldier, all have a little bit of kind of almost behind the scenesy connective tissue. But I and I think there was like a Cracked article or something where they found some super tenuous thing tying Terminator into. It was through like an obscure arcade game. But I'm like, fuck it, I'll take it. Oh yeah, Michael Bain. I meant uh, uh, like in universe though. I couldn't remember if there was something. That just opens up. Oh yeah, I need to be. My ass needs to be motion detecting way more. I'm just stumbling around like a ding dong. Okay. Man, look at all the shit I can make. Can I make revolver ammo? No. That makes sense. Can I make flares? No. I can make this stuff. Oh, wait, no, that just... Oh, L1 to build. Do I... There we go. Ooh, you know I want... You know I want the, uh... Built a bunch of shit trophy. Trophies and achievements and stuff, man. That is, that is my jam. That shit works. That's some, that's some Skinner box Pavlov stuff that absolutely works on me. Uh, Twitch introduced achievements, and I'm like, oh, you don't say. And which is actually genius. I love, I love when achievements and gamification are used, uh, for good. <laughs> well, and and for something beyond leisure, uh, cause that shit works. Because the, the the Twitch achievements are things that could lead to Super Apartment Friends uh, becoming like a, I can't remember the terminology, partner, and then also there's one other like level, which I would love to get. I would love to get us to some of that next level shit. Okay, Matt, you gotta gotta get your brain moving a little quicker. Okay, there we go. That is a that is a funky fresh hacking mini game. After playing lots of Fallout, that feels new. That level is deity. Cool. We'll get there. In the Stromo flight recorder unit. Ooh. Interesting. What the hell just happened? Oh man, this is cool. This is like a this story is like a mid cool. Be sure to join Super Apartment Friends every Thursday. Lest you be condemned to eternal damnation. That's true. Rikyo's Rikyo can pull some strings and make that shit happen. It's weird. I I defer to him on that. He's he's got that damnation hook up. <laughs> Metal as fuck. Okay. Man, these rewire things stress me out. I never know. Camera feed. Oh, we want both of those on, right? 
Double packed. Fuck yeah. Uh oh. External comms link. Okay. Okay, this is all on the up and up. I really wish I could lock the door behind me, but I can't. Communications disabled by order of Apollo. Facility offline. All outgoing communications halted. Ah, fuck. That's just great. Internal communications open on limited channels. Ugh. A station I can contact. Uh, alternate communications terminal. Okay, we got it. Yeah, packed, schmacked. Yeah, I think pace, just game pacing wise, I think we're about due for me to have to cower in a locker. Just feel it in my bones. Okay. Poke around, see what we can find. <laughs> if it was more, oh, that'd be wild if it was more VVV. Dude, oh man, a zero G section would be, I mean, that's not quite VVV, but a zero G section in this would be wild. Hey y'all. Uh, man, I love the uh, I love how it switches focus when you pull that up. This is a really pretty game. L2 to focus vision while you're holding the motion tracker. That's fucking awesome. This is a cool game. This is a really cool game. I'm glad I powered through that section I sucked at earlier. Oh shit. Yeah, that guy's right there. It is a miracle he didn't notice me. Will he care? I guess we need, I guess, like, he beat the shit out of that one guy, but it's because that guy shot him first. I was getting along just fine with these guys earlier. So maybe we're all cool. Oh, hell yeah, spread gun? Oh no, that yeah, that'd be sweet to just pour in stuff from other games to uh, tip the scales in your favor. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, I could use the... Uh, Use Samus's charge shot, maybe. Or Mega Man's, I'm not picky. I just love a charge shot. Maybe a gravity gun from Half-Life. A <laughs> Waluigi mod, fuck yeah. I mean, that'd be, that'd be overpowered, that'd break the game. Oh god, getting chased by Waluigi? That would be horrifying. Bubble lead would be sick. What do you think? Should I confront this guy? Probably not. That'd probably be one of my dumber moves. I wonder if a flashbang would do anything. I guess he would go investigate a noisemaker, potentially, right? Yeah, or we'll just, we'll just keep creeping. Hope he doesn't care. Whatever. Oh, I love Karibo Shoe. That is, that is one of the all-time great items. Absolutely fucking, like, few things are as exciting as getting that item. I love that they included that in Mario Maker. Okay, that's an exit. Dude, music is getting legit very scary. <laughs> this has an incredible soundtrack. Confront and accept the afterlife, yep. Dude, where's that game? Where's the game where... And I, I, I'm, I'm uh, truly asking, because I think there are games that have mechanics like this. But uh, you die in-game, and when you die, there's like an afterlife level you have to play. I know Conker's Bad Fur Day didn't have like full levels set in the afterlife, but it had like some interludes. But yeah, how cool would that be? Especially if you switch back and forth between the two. It's on the tip of my brain. I feel like there's a game that legitimately did that. Something's going on up here. Or it just sounds like it is. The music got real dramatic. I hear shit clanking around. Alright. Oh, I missed a point of interest. 
Oh well. Did you hear about the cancelled Freddy vs. Jason game? I have not. I would love to hear about the can- Oh my god. <laughs> Hello! I'd love to hear about the cancelled Freddy vs. Jason game, because that sounds dope as hell. That guy was like that way. We're gonna just creep over here. Ah, fuck. Hi. We're cool, right? Oh, yeah. We're totally cool, right? <laughs> Hi, it's fine. Uh, everything's totally fine. Yep, that didn't trick him. That, yeah, I didn't fall for that. He's a, he's a pretty smart dude. Oh, good, I need an ion torch. Perfect. This is fantastic. Hi. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, bye. Oh, that's not what I wanted out of life. Okay, here we go. Hi. Isn't it? Oh, R two to throw. Yeah. Okay, one of them didn't care for that so much. Oh, oh, we'll hide. Here we go. I called it. Oh, I gotta hold the hide. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um. So the. The Jason vs. Freddy game was set after Jason goes to hell, and you could play as either Freddy or Jason, or two player. Your goal is to slash your way through out of hell before the other one. That sounds fucking awesome. They could still make that game, right? Get used to these guys because they stick around as the main threats for a long time. Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping they were just kind of here to spice things up. Oh, fuck! Ugh! Oh, that is, that is extremely creepy. <laughs> oh, I didn't break free. He heard my, uh, he heard my motion detector, though. That's upsetting. Okay. If they did, you wouldn't want to play as the remake, Freddy. England's likeness seems to be off limits. Oh, that's too bad. I wonder why. I wonder if they could work something out now. That'd be cool. So we need to find... That's down where I was. Okay. I missed a point of interest, though. I better check that out. Two of them? Fuck. And they're exactly behind me. Oh, except this is an elevator. Mortal Kombat in that recent game... Put in Mike Myers couldn't. Oh, that put in Mike Myers couldn't. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's... Okay, that's why. I was going to say, I have I have the Mortal Kombat game that includes Freddy, because fuck yeah. And then I was really bummed out when I realized it it looks like the, the, the reboot Freddy, which is not as cool. I mean, it's still cool that he's there at all, but... Come on, man. You want... You want England. So, let's, uh, let's take two on this. We got our flashbang out. Now, I think, maybe, if he didn't spot me when I threw the noisemaker, it might trick them. That's my thought right now. That's, where I, that's how I'm coming at this. character in Mortal Kombat is supposed to be England Freddy. I have not beaten the game with him. I don't think. I can't remember. I maybe did. It's been a while. It's been a while since I played that. That was fucking great. I want to get MKXL at some point. Yeah, go ahead and spoil it, because I think I have beaten... I, I think I've beaten it with him. 
I didn't play on like super hard or anything, but I was pretty impressed with myself. I, I got decent at that one. I usually suck at those type of games. All right, we're gonna chuck this thing over here. Let's see if he takes the bait. Oh, it makes him powerful enough to kill Can Nancy. That's cool. Okay, he's going for it. What an idiot. Why am I whispering? It's a game. He can't hear me. Okay. Na -na 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 -na. Everything's fine. Yes. Okay, this is cool. I dig this a lot. Hobbs, don't creep around, you... Everything scares me now. Okay. To replicate the imagery from the first nightmare poster. That's cool. It's oh yeah, Ricky, I'm going that's that's the thing. I'm I'm method acting. I'm not just a wiener who got caught up in the game. Yeah, these goddamn robots are everywhere. I think this room's clear? No, it's definitely not. Man. Hello? Come here. What's this? Give me that. Okay. I hear somebody yapping in the distance, but I don't care. Don't give a funk. Yeah, I got. I at at some point I gotta pick up MKXL because they got they got Leatherface, they got Jason, they got Xenomorph, they got Predator, they got all my homies in there. I'm like, damn man, they could almost make. Uh, there's a there's a uh, a little homebrew game online. I can't remember what it's called, but it's it's a slasher tournament fighter. And I'm like, damn, Mortal Kombat almost made the uh, the official version of that. Reactivate Samuels' communication. Okay. Okay, this room seems pretty clean. They don't seem to be fucking around in here. Good. Alright. Okay. Alright, I'm kind of on the right track. I'm cooking. I'm making that there progress. Can I just walk across that? I'm going to bet not. Nope. Oh, okay. I thought, it was, I thought for sure it was going to let me walk into it and die like a dildo. I'm glad it did not. I gotta not just... Ah, oh, fuck! Mm. <laughs> yep, yep, that... That, <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> that <laughs> truly freaked me out. Okay. They have glowing red eyes and they just move around silently. These guys are dicks. Get in there, lady! Fuck! <laughs> okay. Right. Jesus Christ, he is right there. Yep, don't worry about it, bro. Be cool, right? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we gotta get those EMP grenades. Sharpish. I'm really glad I don't have the uh, voice recognizer thing on. Ooh, I love Megalon. That's such a fun movie. It's silly as shit. Megalon's cool looking. I'm sad we never saw him again. This guy will not fuck off. It's a good thing he doesn't have, like... It's a good thing these androids don't have, like, thermal scanners. Because, like, for sure they would spot a big 98-degree blob inside this thing. Ah, oh, more like Megalodon. Japan hates Megalon. I mean, not hates. Who knows? But, yeah, they don't care for him, which is hilarious to me. Because I think he's great. He's got a lot of character. He's got a lot of personality. He's a dumb guy. What's up, Poiped? It's fun to say your name, Poiped. Poiped. 
Thanks for stopping in. That's more or less how they feel about Megalon's popularity in America. America loves Megalon. Because it's crazy. It's a fucking crazy movie. And and NBC played it on primetime, hosted by John Belushi in a Godzilla suit. We love... And Jet Jaguar! How do you not love Jet Jaguar? That guy fucking rules. Alright. Oh, it was cut down to 60 minutes? Oh. But still... No, you didn't notice me though, right? Hey man, I'm just saying how they say it in the dub. I want to be accurate to that weird dub. And it's also just fun to do. They sure do. Hence... Hence Jet Jaguar and Godzilla. Slap that, slap that R on the end. Ah, yeah, there we go. It's just fun. It, I know his, I know his name is Jet Jaguar, and I usually say Jet Jaguar, except sometimes, sometimes I gotta bust out Jaguar. Okay, this is where we got fucked up last time, because Home Slice was just coming at me. So, I'm going to be a little tiny bit more methodical this time. This shit looks real sometimes. I think this is, this is the most impressed I've been by graphics in a while. Specifically, just the, the shift in focus effect is really fucking cool. That's like a pretty minor thing and not, not even necessarily like a graphical powerhouse. It just looks so damn good. All right. What can we shut off this time? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, he ranked on that, uh, door access. I don't know what door access does, though, at the risk of sounding like a dipshit. Okay, that door there. Okay. Well, let's turn off the alarm. Jesus. <laughs> and camera feed, I guess, but we'll leave lighting on. All right. I'm good with that. It opens the door. One would think, but the last time I fucked around with it... Uh, ew, ew, milk, gross. Or he just... <laughs> or he just spooged so hard he passed out. Uh, uh, uh. I'm an adult. I'm gonna turn on every radio. I hope there's a trophy for that. Oh, fuck! Give me another chance? Nope, overpowered. Not smart, Matt. Maybe don't turn on every boombox. Wow, boombox, great. No, not great. <laughs> yeah, another orgy. Okay. On the floor. Um, I don't remember that part. I, w hmm. Do the... It's been it's been forever since I've seen 85. Because I'm, I'm not that into 85. Uh, even though that was the movie that got me into Godzilla, I should, like, nostalgically care about it more. His hand lands and the stuff. Is it just, like, saliva? Just, like, bleh. It makes me think, like... <laughs> Riccio is convinced it is just shit tons of jizz. Aw, oh, man. I made some decent progress. That sucks. I lost that. Um, but yeah, no, I assume... I, I would assume it's just some kind of general monster mucus. <laughs> yeah, that guy was just so turned on by a giant sea louse. He couldn't help it. <laughs> I mean... It's a really sexy giant sea louse. Let's let's be real, um, cause yeah, like uh, the on on my last Ultraman review, the the truckers get killed by Gamakujira and uh, the guy right before one of the one of the truckers right before he dies. I don't know why I'm making this connection, but one of the truckers right before he dies, instead of having like you know a bloody nose or, or blood coming out of his mouth, he just had a bunch of drool coming out. And I think sometimes 
my thought is sometimes if you if you can't do blood in your movie, you'll substitute like just some kind of generic slime or goo. Well, magic fairies are a major plot point. This is more just a weird uh, practical effects choice. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna chalk it up to some kind of nondescript bio slime. Fuck, what do I do? Uh, let's back away. Let's just back away. And we're gonna throw that noisemaker again because that shit is red hot. Can you, play it? Can you tell I don't play many stealth games? I'm very excited by throwing a thing that makes noise to trick guys. It's like some new hotness for me. Alright, there's one of them. Oh, God. Hi. These robots are built without peripheral vision, and I'm okay with that. Let's just fucking run. I really miss Friday the 13th's look behind you button. It's a really handy button. <laughs> okay, everyone's entitled to their hardcore fetish, and everyone's entitled to not give a shit about said hardcore fetishes. That is my stance. Again, not a hot take. Pretty, that's a pretty mild take. That's like some cold oatmeal kind of take, but it is my take. Oh, don't swing thing. Take a day off, dickheads. <laughs> uh, we're the robots. We're going to keep running this space station all the time. Durr. Shut up, nerds. Nobody cares. Yeah, even, yeah, Mario Kart. Yep. Hell yeah, Mario Kart's got a look behind you button. I do not have the Kraken Blu-ray of 84. I probably should track that down. I have... I th Well, actually, I have the... Did I pick that up? I picked up the DVD. Does the Blu-ray have extra stuff? That is one of... God, that is one of those things. I bought it, and I don't... I still don't think I've watched it. It was about techno babble in an intercom or something. Nerds! Seriously. They didn't even bother to use a proper HD master. Well, I'm glad I didn't spring for the Blu-ray then. That's too bad. And I have the VHS. Because that's actually... I, uh... That's one of those, those rare cases where I actually give a shit about... The... Or, like, strongly give a shit about the different versions. So I am, uh, I'm hanging on to that VHS, because I want all that Dr. Pepper product placement. Hi, Jess. Right. We're playing... What are you talking about? We're talking about, uh, Godzilla 84, a.k.a. Return of Godzilla, a.k.a. Godzilla 85. That's my favorite. That's Godzilla. your... Yeah, yep, the design. You have a shirt with his big face on it. Yeah. He's great looking. <laughs> they used to host fucking TV HD Master. The one you've probably seen with the little film watermark in the corner. See the image smearing all over the place. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, I was psyched that it had just any kind of digital release, finally, after a zillion years, but that's too bad that it's a turd. Oh my god. Okay. These guys are very spooky to me. Did you tell them about the spooky game you played on Tuesday? Oh, I didn't! Thank you for reminding me. Jess and I went to a really cool local arcade on Tuesday. They've got a lot of great stuff. Oh, and I posted I posted that picture of you in front of Giant Space Invaders. Um, which was really cool. There's Jess. <laughs> um, and so we play... We love... Oh, fuck. He's right there. He's grabbing me. No, it's okay. I shouldn't have gone to a computer first. Ah. Fuck you! Ah. I hit X enough, I should have broken free. But I guess not. Godzilla in the Cyber Chase. I know that's a Scooby-Doo reference, Riccio. You fucker, you can't get that past me. I know my Scooby-Doo facts. Ted, you restored... 
Godzilla 85. I would like to check that out. Cryptid. <laughs> um, but we played, so one of our favorite arcade games, I'm touching Jess. It's okay. Out of frame. Like one of our favorite games is called Pirates of Dead Storm, Dread Storm, uh, something like that. Pirates of Gold Guns. Well, that's what we call it. But that's not what it's actually called. But it's a really great light gun game where we have you have big fucking cannons that are just machine guns and they never run out of, run out of ammo. Thank, it's thank, holy. Thank goodness we have our golden guns. It's amazing. And uh, and there's a steering a uh, ship's steering wheel in yeah. the middle. And sometimes they make you slam it back and forth. Yeah. Great game. We love it. Um, and then the same company made a super spooky uh, light gun game, which was called like. Like Chase of the Dead 4D or something like that. 4D was in the title. It yeah, was like Escape. 4D was definitely in the title. And it was it was like Escape the Dead. Um And I'm like, okay, cool. I played House of the Dead, whatever, who cares? Oh, and it's one of those ones yeah. where you're enclosed in like a cubicle. Yeah. And uh Vibrators. Well, yeah, there's so this isn't just your normal light gun game. This is not fucking House of the Dead. You got your light gun. And you put on 3D goggles because the game's in 3D. Uh, but then also, <laughs> there's a there's a heart rate detector on the grips of the gun, so it's constantly telling your heart rate, which Jess has got really high. Um, the seat vibrates, and I think the most exciting part is there's they have it rigged up so it it blasts big puffs of air in yeah. your face for. For the most effective jump scare I've ever encountered in a video game in my life. Uh, it spooked me, and it really spooked Jess yes. every time. Every it was time. so Woo! much fun. Woo! She... Woo! <laughs> it, was, it was so good. Yeah, every jump scare got Jess. Every single jump scare ju got Jess. And it's just a, it was a fun shooter on top of that. So, uh, yeah, look for that game I don't know the title of. <laughs> At an arcade if there's one within 100 miles of your house. Oh, is there anything in here? In this creepy poop shoot? I'm going to bed. You going to bed? Mm -hmm. Alright, I love you, baby. Mwah. Oh, yeah. Red hot on camera action. We're basically a porn site now, Jess. Cool. Kissing porn. <laughs> like, <laughs> the tamest porno ever. Rikio said he appreciates your SpongeBob scream. It was kind of SpongeBob ish. <laughs> Ted says good night. Oh, Jess says good night. Oh yeah, no, I I'm working from home tomorrow. I'll clean shit up. That's a that's an open secret, y'alls. I work from home a lot, which means chores get done a lot. I love you, baby. Good night. Oh, Jess loves everybody. We did it. Oh, okay, that's handy. This is just this. Oh, wait. No, yeah, I was here earlier. Right? Yeah, this is this thing. Okay. That calm thing that I talked into. All right. All right. I got to sneak by these robots. She said to everybody. Rikio, oh my god, with the guilt trips. With the guilt trips. What are you, my dead grandma? <laughs> Actually, real talk, my uh, my dead grandma when she was alive never guilt tripped me. Only in death. <laughs> I'm glad that got a I, I'm glad that got an out of the room peanut gallery laugh, Jess. My grandma was fucking gangster. She was the best. Uh she was deaf? And she watched pro wrestling back in the day when it was awesome. And <laughs> uh, later in life, you know, she you know she had to be hospitalized because when you're when you're older, you get sick. And she woke up, yanked all the shit out. She had the tube, man, the tube. She's like, ah, fuck this, I'm out. She yanked all her shit out and just left. So dope. <laughs> She's gangster as hell. I, I miss I miss grandma. She was the best. Good night, Jess. Ah, Namakawa. Oh, fuck. Poor Namakawa. She's got... She's... Oh, God. 
Ew. Ew, was he looking at me? And now, oh god. Ugh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Noisemaker. Noisemaker, you're my only friend. Woo. Woo. Don't be sad. She's in a better place now. She lived a long, awesome life. And was a badass. Okay. I've got this part down pat. Not that it's like that hard, but still feeling pretty good about it. <laughs> Have some Tootsie Rolls. Yeah! Yeah, that's true. You could throw... It's it's kind of... It's very video game-ish that you have to throw the special noise-making item. You could throw anything. You could throw a fistful of pennies and it would still fucking work. Oh, God. So I think in-game... Like, oh, god damn it. Okay. I guess my motion detector, like, understandably, won't pick them up if they're not moving. And these fuckers are very still. They're very zen. <laughs> Fistful of pennies. Yeah, that's the that's the bobo-ass, straight-to-video mock, uh, mock buster version. <laughs> that's not even a spaghetti western. That's like a macaroni western. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking Chef Boyardee <laughs> beefaroni western. <laughs> yeah, the Asylum rip, absolutely. <laughs> Those things are so dumb. Fucking Atlantic Rim takes the cake for me still. Oh, the Japanese really did call them macaroni westerns. That's awesome. Sinister Squad! <laughs> now, is Sinister Squad a Suicide Squad ripoff? I assume. Uh, just the fact, because there's, geographically, there is not an Atlantic Rim, so that just tickles me. There's a, there's a lot of other good ones. <laughs> Ramen Noodle Budget Western, oh no. Um, I was always, I was always a big fan of Transmorphers, that always kind of cracked me up. Okay, so I know this dickhead comes to life over here. Is that a scripted event, will he always come to life, or if I just avoid him, will he not? Oh my god. Hi. Hi, hello. Does he not care? No, he cares. He <laughs> oh, that was just a door frame. Okay. That's fine. Everything's fine. Hi. This is the locker that is going to save my life. I really need that to be push to hide, not hold to hide. Yeah, he saw everything. He was make fuck. <laughs> Yes! Fucking finally, man. I was waiting for that shit to work. Okay. Did I shake him? I'm gonna hop in here until the scary music happens. Fuck. Yeah, this game really needs a look behind you button. <laughs> Yeah, no, they don't let you. They don't let you get out of that twice. <sighs> I like Atlantis still. I understand anybody who likes Moo better. I get it, but uh, I don't know. Atlantis was my first. That was my first. Uh, you know. Uh, magical lost civilization, so that'll always have a big soft spot for it. Okay. So, <laughs> the first part of this, I am baller at. After that is when it goes to poo poo. Goes up to straight dookies. Ha <laughs> ha 
Yeah, I get it, Ricky. Oh, that took me a second. Are they? No, they're over there. They hang out in that computer bay. Mu does have Atragon, which is better than, uh, which is better than the Atlantis movie. Agreed. Agreed wholeheartedly. There's some, I assume, Atlant, Atlantis is just the Disney cartoon, right? There's not some other cool Atlantis movie I'm, I'm forgetting. Because I'm thinking of the, the, like, 2000, 2001 Disney movie. Which, even though it had art design by Mike Mignola, who I love, doesn't change the fact that it was a mediocre movie. Sword and Sandal movie from the 60s. See, I don't know that one. I do, I do love some Sword and Sandal stuff. Even though, uh, fucking God. Okay. Uh, even though Atomic Horror is more my jam genre-wise, when it comes to Ray Harryhausen's output, I prefer his Greek mythology stuff. Okay, so here's where shit gets weird. Because we got, I got some dudes patrolling this zone, and I don't have as good a handle on them as I do the prior dudes. I'm not using my thingy enough. Okay. Dude, oh my god, this game's fucking with me. Whenever I move the camera around, pretty much any and every shadow is freaking me out. That's a good horror game. That's a good horror game. Because, like, until dawn, I liked a lot, and in the first, the first couple chapters, it freaked me the fuck out, but then when I got a handle on how it operated, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't as scary. It had some it had some good twists though. I wish I could stream that on here, and technically I could, but not with chat. And it's like, well, it's a choose your own adventure game basically, so why would I not Like of course I want chat involved in that. Like more than anything. Cause I'd want to defer to you guys, because that would be hilarious. And one of these days I found my other webcam. One of these days I'm gonna start just streaming me reading a choose your own adventure book. And letting you and letting you ding dongs decide. I was gonna say, Ted, I don't know what TVM is. Okay. Alright, so we're in new turf now. Ooh, and I got a map. I feel like Samus every time I get to update my map. Ooh, and I'm getting close to thing. I'm gonna use that pipe. Oh man. Oh man. I love when a plan comes together. Feeling like fucking Hannibal. A team Hannibal, not eat people Hannibal. Though I do not trust the fact that I don't know where these goddamn robots are. I actually just speaking so Ted, I see you're nice, and I am assuming that's in regards to choose your own adventure books. I'll have you know. Uh oh I think I, I think I bragged about this last time. Um, I ordered a couple of the Goosebumps ones, because I never had them as a kid, even though I should have. But I I decided that that wouldn't be scary. Um, but I got TikTok You're Dead. Uh, there's one of the theme park ones, and then it, I can't remember what the last one was. I think it was a werewolf one. But yeah, I think that'll be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm super stoked about that. That was actually, that was one of the first ideas we ever had for Super Apartment Friends. So I'm glad to finally deliver on that at some point. Uh, Rikio, what did happen? You're distracted by May Mays. Classic millennial. What were you eating? Avocado toast? 
instead of buying diamonds like you're supposed to. Seat of transmission. Wayland Yutani, you shitheads. Who's worse, guys? OCP or Wayland Yutani? Are they equally shitty? Or, if they existed in the same world, which one would buy out the other? <laughs> That's right, Ricky. Get it together. If Hitler's not an option. <sighs> That's true. Yeah, Robocop's the man. I fucking love Robocop so much, dude. <laughs> that was my second favorite movie of all time. He's so badass. Your move, creep. I have a framed drawing that one of uh, Jess's friends did. She's a very good artist. And she did this beautiful portrait of, of Robocop. And the quote she wrote underneath, she, you know, she could quotable movie. There's so many excellent quotes you could pick for that. And she picked, I have to go now. Somewhere there is a crime happening. Which is like kind of a, it like just kind of a fun clunky quote. But then you remember the context of that. And he says that to Lewis uh, when she confronts him in the hallway because he's starting to freak out because he's having, he's remembering that he's a person. So it's actually a very loaded quote. I'm like, good selection. All right. All right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what was the first is uh Wayland Yut so yeah either OCP or Wayland Yutani the company from Alien oh, yeah, let's get that door access going <laughs> yes <laughs> that's such a good line that the first time I saw Robocop 2 I'm like Fuck you, movie! How dare you end like that? Because it's the goofiest thing ever, but now I love it. It's so good. My first favorite movie is the 84 Ghostbusters. After, after, everything, after everything that's gone down, I still do love that one the most. Yeah, the first time I saw Robocop 2, I'm like, how dare you? <laughs> but uh, I've grown to love it. One, because it's, like, abrupt and shocking. And two, because it feels kind of true to life. The bad guys do get away if they have enough money. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, dude. Uh, it's been forever since I've seen Hellboy 2. I, uh, I'm in the minority. I thought one was better when it comes to Hellboy. I know most people thought two was better. And I liked two, but it really felt like... Um, just it's a, it just felt like a Guillermo del Toro movie with Hellboy instead of a Hellboy movie. That's and that's that. I think my my weird stance on two is why I'm uh, cautiously optimistic about the reboot they're doing. Oh uh, yeah, here we go. There we go. Ah uh, uh. Ted, you hated the first Hellboy. Um, my issue with the first Hellboy is the romance subplot felt really forced and weird, but that was about it. I was actually... Oh, fuck yeah, EMP! Now we're talking. Jess, are you listening to Country? Jess is listening to Country. I think because I'm being too loud. Mm, sorry. I need one more of those things. That's okay. <laughs> Why do you hate love? <laughs> I don't know. Mushy stuff. No, it just, uh, it, it felt very untrue to the comics. Because cause Hellboy's not pining for Liz Sherman in the comics. It, it just, it, I don't know, it felt unnecessary. And it actually, it's kind of funny because Guillermo del Toro himself kind of bucked that trend with Pacific Rim, because in Pacific Rim, it, you could really see Raleigh and, and uh, Mako kind of getting together romantically, and he's like, no, fuck that. 
there uh, it doesn't always have to be a romance so it's like oh I wish you felt that way when you're making Hellboy it is a movie well you said you hated it why do you hate it I thought maybe we'd have some common ground there oh, I don't, that wasn't a blasting cap okay where am I thought it was oh Fair enough. Two two is definitely fun. I'll I'll absolutely give it that. Oh, here we go. So I will say similar similar to Hellboy One with Hellboy Two. My beef was that weird, that weird romance subplot with uh, with Abe. It just, it just feels out of character. I don't know. It felt more in character than how, than it did in the first one, though. Yeah, let's turn off the alarm system. Let's turn off the camera feed. Turn on the door access. Q. Q. And we'll save again. Why not? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been, man, it's been forever since I've seen that one. I loved the, uh, that, that plant monster fight. That was sweet. I don't know. And the, the, the elf stuff was cool. I don't know, I had mixed feelings about the elf stuff. Or, or fairies, or whatever it was. Because the Hellboy comics deal with, uh, like, fey creatures a lot. And so, like, it's cool that they tackled that, but it felt different. I don't know. And I think it's that... Yeah, I love Guillermo del Toro, but it felt too Guillermo del Toro-y. Which is a, a thing I never thought I would be saying. Okay. So my thing is over here. It is absolutely better than feeling to Peter Jacksony. I agree one billion percent. Hi. Oh, okay. Is that what the music was? Guy in a buffalo. Guy in a buffalo. You've seen that, right? No. Um, you haven't? No. Press matching input when circuit is active. Uh, maybe. It just sounded like you were listening to country music. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, kind of. You really have never seen no. Guy in a Buffalo? No! I've never seen Guy in, in a Buffalo. On a Buffalo. Oh. You, you have to have seen it. Oh, oh, shit. Hang on. Okay. What? Oh, it's a guy riding a Buffalo? Okay. This is insane. Okay, yeah, no, I'm sending it to you. Yeah, it's send it to me. That is bonkers. I thought immediately you'd be like, oh, yeah, I've seen No, not even a little bit. That was... What am I doing here? I don't understand this one yet. Oh, I just... Okay. I'm just turning them green. We can do that. Bango. All right. Right? But did I do it? Rikio, you relished rewatching Desolation of Snag with a newbie. <laughs> gross, man. Gross, dude. Jess is, Jess is so grossed out more than anyone. Can you tell story about seeing the midnight showing with my parents? With, which one was that that you saw the midnight the showing? One. It was the second one? And that's the one, so the second, I didn't see the second one. That's the one where they, they shot for shot redo Galadriel's scene, right? Mm -hmm. Or Liv Tyler. Liv Tyler, yeah, whatever yeah, her name with, was. With Evangeline Lily. Yeah. And she does, like, the whole... Her big spell, thing. right? And everyone yeah. in the theater burst out. Started laughing. cracking up. Yeah. Because, yeah, they're yeah. like, boy, this is obvious and, and shitty. Like, 70 are like, this is stupid. Yeah, yeah, her 70-year-old parents are like, huh, lame. Yeah, and we went to the midnight show together. Yeah. We always go to Lord of the Rings midnight showings together. Yeah, that is wild.
What does this mean? I'm doing this wrong, I think. Rikio loved the rage quit after the film decided not to finish. Yeah, Rikio didn't like it, but yeah, he watched it with... Oh, okay, I must have completed that. Boom. This is a weird hacking game. This is a weird one. Okay, we got that. Okay, I did it. You're alive. I love her headset. Ripley. She looks so cool. Taylor, it's Ripley. We were getting worried. We I thought... made it. Where are you? Uh, we're at the transit yeah. station now. Like, it's right by medical. Mm -hmm. like, uh, Samuel's she looks badass. Me. It's not safe here. Seeks and like Miles in uh, Deep Damn Space Nine. Yeah. People. That's impossible. It's contrary to primary synthetic programming. I've seen it, Samuels. I guess Seekson's got a different idea about synthetics. And there's something else here. A creature. It's big and it's lethal. Ripley, slow down. A creature. It's a life form. A, an unknown type. Some kind of alien organism. It's extremely dangerous. You and Taylor Ripley. need to... These animations are hard. She was injured by... Uncanny Valley's for real. How bad? I can't move her. I need medical supplies. We need to treat and pack the... And I built a bunch of med kits, buddy. The radio is broken. I can't contact Verlaine. We're on our own. Shit. Okay. I'll come to you. Keep your eyes open. I'll send a transit car to you. Alright. He'll send a, a transit car to me? Oh, fuck. Uh-uh. Please wait to be attended by a Jesus, member of the no. Shit. All right, let's uh, let's find a good box to jump into. <laughs> yeah, this does not bode well. Samuels and Taylor are in Psymed Transit. Samuels has sent a transit car to collect me. Okay. Solid snaking it up. Yeah, man. Not, maybe not as confident as Solid Snake. <laughs> oh, man, I missed a, I missed a power-up, too. I gotta, oh, God. Return through Sieg some comms to escape. Okay, but I gotta grab that box first. If I can. Okay. Alright, alright. We got this. Everything's, fuck. Hi. Hi, robot man. Man, it doesn't help that Hob just blew it up. His litter box. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. Actually good. Ha ha! I'm like Errol Flynn over here. Oh yeah! You dickheads can't get me in here. <laughs> I hope. That'd be insanely upsetting. I did... Which one... Which Goosebumps is Phantasm? Because I've read a bunch of Goosebumps, but not all of them. Okay. Where did this put me? <laughs> Nowhere good. Yeah, let's backtrack. Actually. That was, yeah, that was one of the, the most fun things about Goosebumps, is that most of them are just adaptations of either classic horror stories or Twilight Zone episodes. Oh, I can't, unfortunately, I can't look at the, the link. Tales from the Crypt is great, too. Ooh, my tracker's fucked up. That's no good. Um, Rikyo, this is Go <laughs> Goosebumps and versus... Tales from the Crypt is definitely a Star Trek, Star Wars type scenario. You can absolutely like both. And they both scratch... In this case, they scratch a very different demographic itch. Tales from the Crypt is pretty adult. Mayhem at the Mortuary makes sense. That's cool as shit. Arl Stein knows his stuff. Oh god. guy's right there. He was fucking waiting for me. Ah, crap. Yeah, no. That was... Oh, god damn it. I'm bummed. Okay. Alright. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is not a very elegant solution. Oh, fuck. Okay. Ah, shit, they know I'm here. I just gotta not annoy you. Okay. Okay, there we go. We'll give him some time to leave. We're doing it. Oh shit. Yep, let that third one leave. Alright. Oh, I see him moving around back there, so there we go. We want that door shut. Oh. Ugh. What's he doing? What is he doing? I think my favorite Goose Bumpses were the Monster Blood trilogy, any of the amusement park ones, and mostly those. The Piano Lessons one was nice and weird. And Camp Jelly Jam was fucked up. There was only a couple that actually ever creeped me out. One of them was Camp Jelly Jam. The other one was the very first one. Welcome to the Dead House. And I actually, I kind of chalk that up to R.L. Stein having not calibrated for children yet. Like he thought he... Oh, Jesus! I can't believe he fucking waited there for me. What a creep. Oh, good. I got stuck on a ledge. Okay. Shit, man. Okay, they're slow. So I got that going for me. Okay. I gotta get the hell out of here, man. I'm getting trapped in like a loop. I'm on the right track though, so that's good. Is this door? It does. Okay, that's handy as hell. Oh! I skipped this room. Or the adjacent room because there was always that, uh. pretend dead android who was not actually dead. He kept faking me out. Okay. Oh, and I don't have a finished EMP yet. That would have been helpful as hell. Don't notice me, don't notice me, don't notice me. Beautiful. Excellent work. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> That's not going to work. Yep. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. We out. We out. Oh yeah, bingo. Just duck in here. Use! Alright. Ha ha ha! Ah. Ah. <laughs> yep, I'm out to dope. Deuces. Oh, oh, fuck. I really need noisemakers. <laughs> and I really, I really need an EMP. That would be the hotness. I hate that I missed that item, but... I, uh, don't think I have a good shot at grabbing it. Oh, God. These fuckers are everywhere. Now I know how every Terminator protagonist ever feels. Robots are dicks. Open vent and die, presumably. Yeah, we got, we got 
somebody right nearby. Oh, he's not paying any attention. Oop. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> we seem to be at an impasse. You want to tear my face off. I want to leave without getting my face torn off. You have ten times the strength of a human being. I have one times the strength of a human being. You seem to be invulnerable to bullets. All I have is bullets. What if we sprint this way? Fuck it. Kyo! Oh yeah, they don't give a shit about this hallway. Oh, and it's because it's locked. I need the ion torch, which I bet is that fucking item I missed. So presumably, presumably, if they did their game design right, they won't let me progress without a necessary item. Alright, time to run! Oh, fuck. Oh, yep, they're not even letting me do it. Oh! Yeah, no. Okay, eat some spinach! Ooh, yeah! Ooh! <laughs> Don't you be an impasse on me. I'm an impasse, baby. Run right into the misty arms of an android. Thought you were going to bed. Uh, okay, it's all good. Oh man. I gotta redo a bunch of stuff. Oh, well. I didn't do particularly awesome, so I guess it's okay. I did die, it's true. Very astute observation, my man. Excellent work, mister. Okay. Maybe I should try and get that item. Oh, where is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's... Okay. So this is where we turn on the communicator. Yeah, if I backtrack a little bit, maybe I can grab that thingy. Because the androids are a little less aggro right now. They're still aggro enough. These guys are dicks. Ooh, we're androids. We're so cool. Look at our glowing, lifeless eyes. And this fucking dick, I'm about done with him. Oh, hey, I like to fake you out all day, every day. Great. Alright, here we go. So is this the automatic kill androids all the time weapon. Ooh, no, uh, ID tag, though. That's cool. Actually... Yes! Ooh, yeah! Ah, Daddy Lake! Alright. Hell yeah, this was super worth it. I should save again. You got some news that'll ruin my day? Great. Let's hear it. You monster. You little devil. Lay it on me. I can take it. I looked at social media once or twice today, so I'm... Hope you don't like Triceratops. Love them. Is it embroiled in a sex scandal? <laughs> Recent study... Oh, you're dragging it out. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> what a bombshell. I wasn't emotionally prepared for that, Riccio. That, <laughs> that can't be... Hang on. <laughs> that cannot be the actual bombshell, right? You fucking with me? You little gremlin? You fucking goblin? You trickster? Okay. Oh, there's another item up there. Dang. 
Its horns weren't horns. What were they? <laughs> Teeth? They're made of keratin, so they were the same texture as the frill. I don't know. That's not bad news to me. That seems kind of sweet. That's like, that's pretty dope. Alright, I'm save I'm officially saving my EMP grenade for when I get to the lobby. That's what I've decided. To balance values, X to confirm. What does this mean? Oh, okay. Oh, they're throwing new mini games at me. If you can use it to stab. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Oh, Ted, I thought you were talking about the EMP grenade. I'm like, can I stab the EMP grenade into someone? That'd be amazing. They're probably very colorful. That's cool. I like that. Okay, this one I never figured out. Yeah, I don't, I do not get this one. I just fumbled my way through this one. Press matching input when circuit is active. I don't get it. Is it? Okay. Maybe. Okay, there we go. It corresponds with... Okay, it corresponds with face buttons. I thought it was I thought those corresponded with directions on the D-pad. Cool. It's interesting that they have like so many different hacking games in here. Samuels! You are alive! Spear it's tail like a stingray, that'd be sweet. We were getting worried. We I thought... made it! Where are you? Okay, we can skip this. Uh, we're at the transit station. All right, send in a transit. Androids are mad. Ooh. Thought you guys were supposed to be emotionless. Shit. Bunch of salty butthole androids. <laughs> Hi guys, yeah, I know. You're so mad at me right now. Whatever. Good thing you're slow as shit, bitch. Ooh, hey, it's me, the android. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Come on, I'm hitting wicked X button. Yeah. That's right, we out. Deuces, bitch. Yeah, you didn't ruin my... Dude. I don't know. I don't know if... I think, I think the closest Dino News ever got to bumming me out was... Uh, the feathers thing. I wasn't like, I was like unprepared for the feathers thing at first. Now I don't care. Mostly. Yes, yeah, suck a dick, baby. We done. Smoked him like a doober. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. To so the I st and I still don't fully get the feathers thing. Like. They all got feathers? Like a Stegosaurus had feathers? Like, what's the deal? If I told you Rex was vegan, yeah, that would maybe bum me out. The whole the whole T-Rex is a scavenger thing bugged me. That that actually did bother me. <laughs> Mr. Fist! Ted's punching anybody and talks about dinosaur feathers. <laughs> Everything else was carnivorous. Well, cool. As long as uh, as long as my boy Dimetrodon was carnivorous, that's pretty cool. Did this floor have dickhead robots? Oh, it did. Ah, and I already used up my EMP. I want to get to that item though. So we're gonna see if we can do that. Kilirosaurus and certain ornithopods. Those guys were feathered. Fuck. Okay. Oh, yeah! This was our android central room. He's on the other side. Yes. Cool beans. Yeah, way to go, dummy. 
Hi. Can I build another EMP? Not even close, but we can start. Bye. <laughs> kind of feel like I'm just trolling these dudes. Oh, and that's not even the that's not even truly the item that's in there. I can't really tangle with these guys. Yeah, no. Dang. Another item left behind. Just like those Kirk Cameron movies. Unless Guess we got an open door we can pop through. No. Nope, that's walled off. Well. Right here. No mandroids in here. Oh, that's not taking me where I need to go. Fuck it, I'll explore it. I did say cool beans. I say cool beans a lot. <laughs> Trace evidence of Stegosaurus, Trike, Carnotaurus, and certain other scaly dinosaurs that had scales all across the body. That's cool. You hear about the you hear about the feather thing a lot, and uh, you, you you usually hear like, oh yeah, fossil records show dude man's had feathers, and you never hear the opposite. Because I guess that's not like an exciting or groundbreaking find, but it's like I want to know. We're saving. We're totally... We're saving, and we're going back for that fucking item, because what if it's something radical? What if it's a flamethrower? What if it's a blue shell from Mario Kart? It could be literally anything. This is Schrodinger's video game item. No, oh, yeah, it's almost like evolution wasn't like a perfect streamlined process oh see now look at that little tunnel there that's what I want baby wants tunnel although that's that's disconnected from everything else so baby doesn't want tunnel baby can't use tunnel I want to kill I want to I want to cap one of these dildos these guys are butt munches okay I bet it's about the items in this cool room. Though that guy chased me out. Ooh. Collect ID tag. Was that my item? Bango. We out. We out. I punk. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Arikio. You can put that on my tombstone. Baby wants tunnel. <laughs> I say a lot of weird things when I play a video game. Did anybody here ever play Beetle Adventure Racing? No? Just me? Please wait! Fuck you! No! Are you kidding me? Ugh! Damn! Fucking milk boy. That's why I didn't want me to save. It knew. <laughs> and now it's pinned to chat. So in Beetle Adventure Racing, uh, which was a low-key fantastic game that not a lot of people played, it was an N64 racing game that starred the new Beetle, which, uh, you know, was a pretty wienery car, but uh, in 1999 it was fun. Um, see, now i got to get that thing again. Come on, game. Get a life. Um, oh, hi, great. It's the android. I really missed hanging out with my best friends, the androids. Um, but yeah, in multiplayer. There, <laughs> there. I don't even remember how the mode worked. It was like a strange kind of deathmatch. Or there was a King of the Hill mode or something. You'd collect enough shit, and then a pretty good, like, Pee Wee Herman impression voice would come on and say, Head for the exit! I can't do a Pee Wee Herman voice. That's the closest I can do. Um, fuck, he grabbed me. I thought I could squeeze by him. Come on. Oh, sometimes they let you tap out and sometimes they don't. Ooh, they're susceptible when they're stunned. So I'm going to 
Next time, I'm gonna dome one and then just beat the shit out of them. We'll see how that goes. I'm kind of experimenting now. With non-stealth. I don't have the patience to be stealthy for extended periods. I, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it boils down to. I'm just not patient enough. Alright. So we're gonna grab doggy tags. Oh, it's an ID tag, not a dog tag. Oh. No, 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 no. No, no. Let me back out. That's... Okay. I wanted to grab the liquor. It won't let me. Okay. Okay. Where is this doucher? Okay. Alright, we've got the ID tag. We've got the loot, the warrant, and the crook. Carmen Sandigo reference. Another, how about I reference a bunch of weird games that nobody cares about? Alright, now let me save this time, you douche. Fucking shit! Damn it! I hate this guy. I hate this guy. Let me tap out! Not fair. I... I don't think I'm quitting until I get past that. I have a vendetta against that one android now. I might try and... I might try and scope him out and kill him first. I know you're down here, Stairmaster. Or are you a scripted event that occurs after I pick up the ID tag? I can't tell. <sighs> Alright. Fine. Ah, oh, there you are. Ah, oh, my best friend. Ah, oh, man, I clubbed him and everything. He didn't care. Alright, that's a pointless fight. I do remember you asking about general layout figures. <laughs> We're not going to be here till 3 a.m. I, uh... Yeah. Yeah, well, that's usually... I don't know if that was the line for for general layout specifically, but it's a... That's a, a topic that comes up um... With a, with a lot of female characters, like with with Ray, even there weren't a, there like at the time there weren't enough toys of Ray, and they would say, oh, you know, it doesn't sell as well. You see him now, and that's I'm not saying that was what happened with General Leia, but I just in the past in with other with other women characters, that's that's been the bullshit answer that uh, like toy companies give. Oh, 3 p.m., yes. Yeah, we'll take that long. Absolutely. Okay. Alright, so I need to be ready for Mr. Bonus Android. That's weird, and I wonder if... I want, With Leia, I wonder if it's... Is it kind of touchy because Carrie Fisher died? I wonder if there's issues with her estate, maybe? I'm spitballed. I, I have I actually have no idea. But it is surprising. Or is it because it could... There, fuck you, man. I wonder if it's because General Leia is not like an action character. She's more of a... You know, a, a commanding officer type character. God damn, really? Shot you in the head, motherfucker! Yeah, and there's probably a zillion Princess Leia figures anyway. Man, I have not... This is this is a nut I have not cracked yet. I kind of don't care about the ID tag at this point. It's bullshit it won't let me save after I pick it up, though. We need to see if I have... I don't have a lot to work with here. There's a locker, though, so that's good. I can pop in there. Yeah, he's coming. Fuck, I don't know what to do with this guy. Yeah, there he is. Fuck you. Okay, we're back in here. 
God, get off my nuts, bro. Yeah, we're in another. St yeah, I do need to get good. What does get good even entail in this situation? Because you can't kill them. One death at a time, yeah. And I'm in a hallway. There's not like a lot of alternate routes for me to creep around with. I'm, I'm funneled into this bottleneck. There's not like hidey holes and shit. Wait, what do you mean Frozen is all but a memory? There's, st you, there's still Frozen merch. I think that's going to be pretty evergreen. In the way that, like, Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast are. Because they still make merch of those dudes. Yeah, no, I probably will stop here soon. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's it's not inescapable like it used to be. That's a good point. Do I have... I have a noisemaker. I guess I could bust out my, my best friend, the noisemaker. <laughs> okay. This... This is quite a conundrum. I shouldn't have used my EMP grenade. I should have saved it for this. Is Frozen getting a sequel? I can't imagine they wouldn't. I do not know what to do with these assholes. Oh, sh oh, there's a locker right there. Fuck it. I guess I'll just hide in here for a while? I don't know. This is where the part of my brain that doesn't understand stealth games kicks in. Like, do I just chill? Because they it seems like they don't... They don't activate and enter this area until I do certain things. Okay, there he goes. Maybe not. Maybe it is just a timing thing. Maybe I'll go get the ID tag. Fuck it. Since he pieced out of here. Boop, boop. Speaking of uh, speaking of animated movies from Disney and Disney adjacent, um, Coco is blowing shit up in Mexico. I think it just it just became the highest grossing movie in Mexico ever which is crazy because like based on trailers the movie just looks okay and maybe it's just a cultural touchstone like maybe it just hit the right nerve for Mexico but that's like super interesting to me because uh, Coco visually and story wise reminds me a lot of Kubo and the Two Strings and a movie from a couple years ago called The Book of Life and uh, Kubo was fantastic, and possibly my favorite movie of, what was that, 2016? Um, but Book of Life, who gives a shit about, like, I, I don't know, that, I was not on board for that. Um, but yeah, that's just really interesting to me. Because the, all the Day of the Dead imagery is super fascinating to me. Like, I love that aesthetic. And that whole vibe. But yeah. We'll see. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, this feels impossible. I think I'm tapping out. What do I do? What do I do? I quit, is what I do. For now. Book of Life uh, came out a few years ago. That was an animated one. And the characters kind of looked like blocky wooden marionettes on purpose. And it was, a, you know, it, was, it took place in, like, the land of the dead. So you had, like, all the sugar skull imagery and all that stuff. And it just, like, it looked like whatever. I don't know. Even though I love 
that visual style and and that mythology i just was like oh, no. but that's it i'm done i'm done for tonight i'm stuck i'm probably gonna go probably gonna go on game facts and and cheat my way through this but uh i'll uh, but i'm sticking with it i'm sticking with the alien isolation i want to see this thing through uh because it's cool it spooked me a lot <laughs> It spooked me a lot tonight. Those androids are scary. Uh, what was wrong with Book of Life? Just for me personally, it didn't grab me enough. To, I didn't see it. Um, it didn't entice me. It just looked okay. Um, which, it, but it's interesting, though, because I know uh, like a year or so ago, the people that made Book of Life tried to sue Pixar, being like, yo, what the fuck? You stole our thing. Um but yeah, that's a whole that's a whole shebang. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a chance sometime. There was I don't know something about it just didn't it didn't click for me enough to go see it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm gonna peace out, guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping in. This is Super Apartment Friends. I'm Matt. Uh, I'll be back next Thursday, 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Time. Gonna be playing more Alien Isolation. Uh, we. Anna called me. That's why I was so. Oh, excited. Anna called. Hey, Anna. Anything Anna says goes. Wow, she called me. I, I know. I'm just. Know. I'm just giving you a hard time. I'm wrapping up. All right. I got stuck at an impossible part of this game. Is it impossible? No, I'm just dumb. <laughs> I just haven't figured it out yet. The first part was impossible until you figured it out. Exactly. Every part's impossible until I figure it out. Cause I'm a baby. I know. You're very smart and you're going to figure it out. I just like to be hard on myself sometimes. But, uh, what are you doing? Ooh, hey. Hi, girl. Ooh, 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 All right. I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll meet you in a sec. I'm wrapping it up. Um, next Thursday. Oh, next Thursday is Thanksgiving. I probably won't be streaming next Thursday. Very good, Ted. Ted, that goes to show how much I care about Thanksgiving. <laughs> Not my favorite holiday. I know, I want you to do Mario World on here soon. I could do Mario World next weekend, maybe. Next weekend? Okay. We're waiting for Byron, so while we're waiting for Byron... You could stream. That's cool. So coming soon, yeah, Jess is going to speedrun Mario World, because she's a whiz kid at it. Uh, Stop selling me like that. No, you're sold. It's too late, I sold you. You're very good. Uh, so that'll be a change of pace. You could come to Super Apartment Friends and watch somebody who's good at a game. Weird. Um... So yeah, definitely not next not next Thursday. Usually we're on Thursdays. Next week I'll probably do Wednesday or Friday. Um, and I'll keep I'll keep you posted on social media. So uh, Ted and Riccio know all this bullshit. But I see a couple other people there. I see you watching. Uh, so we're on Facebook as Super Apartment Friends. We're on Twitter as Super APT Friends. Uh, and I, st I started using Mastodon. That's the seek. That's the secret Twitter without Nazis. Uh, so we're on there as Super Apartment Friends too. Um, so yeah, I'll be in touch with updates on that when I have a better idea of when we'll stream next. So keep an eye on that. Uh, yeah, and then also if you ever want to check out our backlog, our old videos. They're on YouTube. Twitch hosts some of them, but I realize they start, like, deleting them after a while, so I'm like, whatever. I shoot them all over to YouTube, though, as and we're super apartment friends there, too. Um, Rikyo, I missed the last thing you said. I see you said something about Zootopia, but I also see you're saying goodnight. So goodnight, Rikyo. Uh, goodnight, Ted. Goodnight, everybody. Mastodon is a rare and rapidly dwindling resource. How dare you? Mm, oops oopsie uh they're gonna clone one of those fuckers someday and i would pay a thousand dollars to see one alive that's a promise uh ted thanks for dropping in see you later uh i'll, I'll see all you guys later all you guys and gals and whatever else is out there maybe murderous androids in which case fuck you that was oh that was the fastest middle finger of all time uh yeah that's it i'm rambling uh, so I'll catch you on the, on the flip and dip, fellers. Thanks for stopping in. I love you the best. Riccio was saying, it's like Zootopia and Sing. 
gross. Gross. It is though. Yeah, it's that it's that weird thing that happens all the time where there's like twin movies, but yeah. Uh usually one's way better than the other. All right guys, uh you're the best. I love you forever. Have a super apartment weekend everybody and uh we'll catch you a little later. Bye.